So today we're gonna make my marbled black sesame no-bake cheesecake. And as always, recipe in the comment section down below. And at the end of this video, there will be a quick, fast tutorial montage on how to make this recipe. So if you just want that, just go ahead and skip through it. So anyways, let's start cooking. Wait, is it cooking? Baking? We're, we're not baking. Whatever, let, let's just start. You gotta start out with a good, strong base. And that is why I'm gonna make my black sesame graham cracker base right now. Time to get smashing. Okay, it's really important to remove some of the air when you're smashing because if you don't, it'll explode everywhere and you will have a terrible time cleaning it up. You want it to be really fine because the more fine it is, the easier it will be to press into your cheesecake tin. All right, I'm gonna add it into my bowl and mix it in with my butter and black sesame paste. I made this black sesame paste at home, so it's like hella artisanal shit, but you can definitely just buy store-bought black sesame paste. Okay, time to mix it all up. This already smells so good. <sighs> the step can seem really daunting, but it's really easy. Just pour it all in and then use a measuring cup to mash it into the bottom. You really want to mash in this crumb really tightly because the tighter it is, the better your cheesecake will hold together when you slice it. Honestly, this is like the most challenging part for me because I really want it to be perfectly flat and perfectly smooth, but because it's graham crackers, it'll never be like that. So, sort of dims my day a little bit, but you gotta make some sacrifices to get good food and good stuff. You know what? Good enough. I don't have time to be bothered about being perfect. It's already 12, so I need to go to sleep soon. No sir, no ma'am. Alright, after you're done putting on the crust, it's time to put it in the freezer for 10 to 20 minutes. It's time to make the cream cheese filling. Alright, so add in your Greek yogurt, cream cheese, sugar, lemon juice, and vanilla in, all in one go. I am obsessed with this mini spatula. It's so cute. It's not really miniature, I should say slender spatula. And I'm not gonna say like, oh, the skinnier you are, the better or more attractive you are. But in this case, yeah, this skinny spatula is hella sexy. I have measurements for the vanilla in the recipe below, but who measures vanilla? Like honestly, the more the better, like crack cocaine. All right, so my cream cheese mixture is hyper smooth. You really want it super smooth. The smoother it is, the better your outcome will become. And now I'm just gonna make sure that I get everything in the whisk because this stuff is worth it. So I'm gonna scoop about a third of my cream cheese filling and then add in about six tablespoons of my black sesame paste into it so that it becomes black. And then we can get that beautiful marbling. Ooh, this part makes me the most anxious because after this, I'm gonna have to do my whipped cream and then it could get really messy really quickly and go awfully wrong. Now about six tablespoons of black sesame paste in this bowl. Alright, it's definitely time to make the whipped cream. Sometimes whenever I'm making recipes, I get super anxious about like the remainder in the cup. Like I know some recipes will be like, oh, a tablespoon or a third cup of honey. But then like, a fat tablespoon of honey gets stick to the measuring cup and I'm like, did the recipe expect that or like, what's, what's the deal? What's the ish? What's the tea? Maybe this is like my anxiety paranoia kicking in. Well, it's not maybe, it is because I'm a highly anxious person. I'm going to die because of my anxiety one day. That's no fun. Okay, so I'm a full-blown moron, idiot, stupid, stupidos, extremely... Ugh! The mistake that I made was I bought whipping cream, which is completely false, and what you actually need to buy is heavy whipping cream. I can't believe I even wrote this recipe, because I wrote heavy whipping cream, but at the store, I literally grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed whipping cream. The difference is... One says heavy and the other says whipping cream and I grabbed the one that does not say heavy. And scientifically, the difference is heavy whipping cream has 6% more fat than whipping cream. And I was trying to whip my whipping cream into stiff peaks and it just did not work for the past 10 to like 30 minutes. And I was like, huh, why is it not working? Like a fucking idiot that I am. And I forgot to check the label on my carton. So I spent literally the past 30 minutes trying to whip my 
cream, oh that sounds really nasty, but my cream to sift peas because that's what you need in order to accomplish the best texture of cheesecake. And that did not happen, so I just wasted my whole time, my energy, all the products, and I need to run to the store to buy heavy whipping cream, but it's currently 1245 and none of the stores are open, so I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks. Please don't unsubscribe, because this recipe is hella good. I just made a huge blunder, because I'm a fucking idiot, so... <sighs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning, or in the next day, or whatever it is. It technically is the next day, because it's already like 12.45. Whatever. The next clip. I'll see you guys then. Alright, bye. Why, hello there. I'm back. Okay, so it's the next clip, or next morning, if you will, and I finally got my heavy whipping cream, and just, and like, I'm just very embarrassed, because I was the one who made this recipe, so, uh, moron idiot here, but definitely, definitely do not waste your time by doing something like what an illiterate person would do, such as I did, and not get heavy whipping cream, but just get whipping cream. All right, so now I'm gonna make my whipping cream. All right, and I know this time I won't be screwing up because I actually read the label and got the right ingredient. All right, so I whipped my whipped cream until stiff. Can you guys see that? Now it's just time to fold in the mixture. So I'm gonna fold in my whipped cream with my white mixture, original mixture, first because I don't wanna do the black mixture and then contaminate my white mixture. I'm gonna reserve a third of my whipped cream. You want to fold slash mix it in until just well combined because if you over mix it or over like fold it, it'll deflate and ruin your whole recipe. So my black sesame cream cheese mixture is well combined and it's definitely lighter in color. So if you want it darker, you can definitely add a lot more black sesame paste, but heed my warning that if you add more, your cheesecake might turn out terribly. Oh well, back into the fridge because I don't want it to deflate. It's time to grab my cheesecake tin out of the freezer. Let's go. So this is what she looks like. Wow, it's like black sesame magic right here. All right, so your goal here is to add in half of your white mixture into the cream cheese base and then dollop your black sesame mixture and then use like a little knife or a little spoon to make marble patterns and swirly patterns. And for extra credit, you know, if you're that straight A student, you can add a little bit more of black sesame paste and drizzle it in to make more fantastic, better marbling. All right, let's get started. Definitely, the hardest part about this recipe is knowing when to stop, because I get really anxious about whether it'll look nice or not, when I know that it will look nice. All right, now you just want to do the same. All right, now you just want to do the same process for the second layer. After you're done marbling, most importantly, you want to put it into the refrigerator for six to eight hours, preferably seven hours because it's in the middle for me and that's what works best. So definitely do that. And if you don't do that and you cut into it immediately, your cheesecake will not set and it will fall apart and become a runny mess. No one likes a runny mess. All right, time to put it into the refrigerator. See you guys in the next clip. I'm back. I bet you missed me, right? No, you probably did not because it was literally a second ago in the last clip, so. Seven hours have passed in my time, but look how pretty my cheesecake came out. That marbling, woo, so hot. All right, it's time to unmold it and slice it. Mmm, it's so good. The earthiness of the black sesame pairs so well with the tangy sweetness of the cream cheese mixture. Oh my god, this is hella bomb. You need to make this, 10 out of 10. But anyways, before I finish this whole cake by myself, it's time for the montage. Let's go! Crush the graham crackers until it becomes fine and sandy. Add it to a bowl with black sesame paste, melted butter, and mix. Pour into cake tin and pack it down with a measuring cup. Freeze for 15 minutes in a mixer. Add in Greek yogurt, sugar, vanilla extract, lemon juice, a little bit of salt, and cream cheese. Mix on high until smooth. Divide into two bowls, one with one third and the other with two thirds. Add in black sesame paste into the one third bowl and mix. 
In a stand mixer with the same mixing bowl, add in the heavy cream, emphasis on heavy. Whip until stiff peaks. Fold in two thirds of the whipped cream into the white cream cheese mix and the remainder into a black cream cheese mix. Put in one third to one half of the white cheesecake mix into a cheesecake tin. Dollop one third of black sesame mix and drizzle in some black sesame paste for extra credit. Marble with a knife or tooth thick. Do this one or two more times depending on the remaining cheesecake mix. Put in the refrigerator and chill for six to eight hours, preferably seven to longer. Slice, plate, and you're ready to eat. Enjoy. As always, recipe in the comment section down below. Please subscribe and like. Done. You have to make this recipe. It's a 10 out of 10. Super easy, super quick, super delicious. For more delicious, unique recipes like mine, please like and subscribe. Oh, and in the comment section down below, please comment down what other Asian twists I should bring to other desserts. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, remember to stand bothered. Bye.